Hi everybody, Chase from Tin Can Phys Ed, and here to talk to you about Bucket Baseball. A great modified baseball game as you're progressing your students into playing a full-on game of baseball or softball. But let's talk about the base build, how we set up for this game, and get our students ready. We need, obviously need to set up a field. We start with home plate, first base, second base, third base. We use a batting tee and a ball and a bucket. That is how we're going to be setting up our game today. We obviously are going to be taking our students and breaking them into two different teams. One team is going to be out in the field, and they're going to be playing in different positions, but they are called fielders. The fielders are going to be outfielders and infielders. Outfielders play beyond the bases, infields play inside. And then we have the other team where there's going to be one batter at a time. All the other batters are lined up, ready to try to take their chance. This game starts when the batter hits the ball and needs to go forward out of foul territory. When he hits it, he needs to run from first <clears throat> to second to third and to home. If he can get to home without getting out, he scores a point for their team. Now the fielding team, they're going to try to retrieve the ball and put it into the bucket at the pitching spot before the runner can run around the bases and score. If they get into the bucket while the runner's between the bases, they yell stop, the runner is out. But if the runner is standing on a base and the bucket is falls in the bucket, they are safe. If they are safe, we resume play with the new batter, they hit the ball and we progress the game. But if the ball is caught in the air, the batter is also out as well. If they're out, we reset, we keep playing, we try and try again. If we get three outs, that is the end of the inning. Now the batter can also hit it short, but while they're base running, you cannot have two runners on the same base at the same time, only one. They need to get back and be on a base when the ball is put in the bucket to be safe. You continue this until the fielders earn three outs, and then we switch who's batting and who's fielding. Now that we have the base rules, let's talk about our first progression. In our first progression, the fielders cannot run with the ball. If they have the ball, they cannot run, they have to pass it to somebody else. But the basic gameplay still stays the same. They need to grab the ball, pass it to another person who can put it into the bucket to stop the runners from progressing throughout the game. They do this, we continue to play. Just like in the first build, the batters will hit it, the batters will try to run to proceed through the bases, the fielders need to move, retrieve the ball, and throw the ball into another player to try to get the ball into the bucket before the other team scores. They still need to get three outs to end the inning and to switch who's batting and who's fielding. In this build, we're going to change and add in the rule. To get another out, the fielders can throw the ball to the base before the runner gets there. If the fielders get the ball to the base before the runner touches the base, the runner is out. Thanks for watching this modified game of softball or baseball <clears throat> called Bucket Baseball. This is a great way to teach some more of the fundamentals before we get into a full game. If you're curious about the full game description and rules, check out the link in the description below to access the full game rules. Enjoy!